So welcome to the Yateley South, mate. Hopefully, in the next 48 hours or so, we'll be able to show you how to tackle this fantastic day ticket venue. It's got to be one of my favourite spots to come and get a bite. Brilliant fishery and with some beautiful fish in it. And here's one I've just had off the top. Just coming towards the net now, spot on. First fish of the trip. So here we are, here's the first one of the trip. Beautiful dark Yateley common, very pleased with that. Nice to get one under my belt quite quick. Caught this one off the top on a bit of an unconventional float sail, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. Change tactics slightly. I'm putting on a small controller just to give me a bit more range. I'm fishing two dry mixes on the hair. I've been feeding mixes out over this area for a few hours this morning. I've lost one and then landed a small one. Uh, this is quite a good fish. It's got me in the weed a bit at the moment. So I'm just trying to keep the pressure on to keep it moving. Okay, tense times. The fish is. Um, a good, uh, quite a good open scrap for a while. Unfortunately, it's got its head down right in the weed now, and uh, there's only so much pressure you want to give it. So, I think in times like this, it's best just to slacken off uh, and give it five minutes. You know, if you've got a good hook hold, it should stay in there and uh, give it five minutes and, and see if it kicks and comes back out. The fish I had this morning, it got its head down and I was, it was totally solid, and it just slackened off. And after a minute, off it went, and I got that fish in. So, I just uh, need to slack for a minute and. and See what, what happens. Okay, well, unfortunately, that fish that I had in the weed just now came off really gutted. It looked like a nice mirror, and uh, having had it on for quite a few minutes in the weed and got it moving again, it weeded me out. I got it moving again, got it in quite close. I could see it was a mirror, got its head down, and the hook come out. Anyway, what I want to do now while the, the swims have been a bit disturbed is just talk you quickly through the tackle and techniques that I'm using to get these fish here at the South Lake feeding on the top. First up, bait. These are some mixers that I prepared yesterday um, and I've soaked them. They're just your standard pedigree chum mixers. And what I've done is I've soaked them in a combination of Baitworks Kingfish uh, fish slick oil and the kingfish uh, bait soap and glug. So I've tipped a bit of that in the bucket and then added about half a pint of water to maybe a quarter of a bucket of bait and stirred it all round and then I've left it for 12 hours. And in that time, the bait has sucked up all the goodness uh, of these, uh, the oil and the dip uh, and also the water and it's produced a nice soft bait. Uh, and I find that to be really effective. Now, in, in terms of the rigs I've been using, the first fish which you saw me catching uh, yesterday when I first got here was a bit of an, I mentioned it was a bit of an unusual setup. <laughs> And that's because uh, it is. 
Um, one of my students, a guy called Ben Farley, who's clearly a very good angler, uh, he was using that on a trip to the south, this uh, set up on a trip to the south late a few weeks ago, and I thought, I like that. And what he was doing was using soap mixers just like I'm using here, uh, and he was threading them up the line to create what can only be described as a mixer sausage, which looks ridiculously crude, but it's free lined. Um, you've got cruiser control uh, main line in there, uh, 10 pound, and a size 4 Y gape um, as the hook. Uh, and I've threaded those dog biscuits down in there so you end up with this sausage effect. Now you can cast that about 25, 30 yards, uh, which is perfect. And what Ben Farley, the student, was showing me was he was putting more on if he needed to cast further and less if he wanted to cast a shorter distance. Now, that first common I caught yesterday, I flicked this out and it came straight up and had the whole lot, all five mixers, down in one go. So that definitely, definitely worth a go. Um, slightly different, you know, and if you're struggling with the controllers and stuff and you want to try freelining a bit further out, then give that a whirl. Moving on a bit, this morning uh, I've been using a more traditional setup. I've got a light um, test curve rod, two and a quarter pound test curve rod, which is loaded up with 12 pound cruiser control line. This is a 10 pound version, which I'm using as hook link. So I've got 12 pound main line, a little cruiser, 15 gram cruiser controller, 10 pound cruiser control as a hook link. And then at the business end, I've got one of those fantastically sharp little size eight mixers. There's your mixer hook, short hair rig, and these are two drilled uh, chum mixers straight out of the packet, threaded on the hair. And I find that that sits acceptably well in the water. Every two or three casts, I'll re-drill a couple of fresh mixers and put them on, so that's the only thing I suppose that is a pain. But often you see um, people using a chopped down boilie, a bit of pop-up maybe, uh, or a bit of cork. The nice thing about using a real mixer is it's exactly the same as what the fish are taking out in the pond. Um, so I'm quite keen on that. Uh, so that's my setup. And uh, yeah, I've had a few bites now, so it's working all right. Let's try and get some bait back in the swim and try and get the fish feeding again. So here we go. I, I lost that fish down at the other end of the lake. I was a bit disappointed with that, having had it on for a, a good long scrap. Anyway, the swim was really quiet after that. Couldn't, couldn't rise any fish to the top. So I've come around here on the point and uh, fired out a few mixers and straight away this fella came chasing up and he was walloping them real hard, he was really confident, little male carp and uh, cast out and straight away, whack, off he went and uh, cracking South Lake carp, so I'm really pleased to get that and I think that just about wraps up my session, great fun. Get in there. Get in there. Excuse my friends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excellent. That's a cracking common. I'm very, very chuffed with that. That has explosive stuff. Look at that, that is an absolute chestnut. They don't come much better looking than that commons in my view. That is a beautiful South Lake common. A real testament to the bailiffs that look after this fishery. An absolute cracker. Well, that about concludes my session at the South Lake. Several fish off the top on a variety of different styles. I'm really pleased, that's been great, great fun. Oh, I don't get much better looking than that. Just over 27 pound of absolutely belting South Lake Common. Very, very pleased to catch that one off the top.